Hello again everyone, welcome back. Well today we're going to look at another Viaje from their holiday release. This is the Candy Cane for 2020. This is what you'll see when you take the uh, covering off. Now the, the cigar looks like this, we'll come back to it. It actually arrives looking like this in this um, foil wrapper covering whatever you have to take it off it's all taped together and everything so i have one left i wanted to show you once you remove that this is what you have and you can see it as a barber pole um no no details have been disclosed i think we can surmise that's a connecticut with something darker uh possibly a habano or it doesn't look dark enough to be maduro but that is how it will look with candy cane right up under the uh, holiday blend and of course you got your limited edition thing and there's the, the foot which is closed so that is it six by 54 one size um, comes out and that I was looking back, these actually originated back in uh, 2012. So it's been out for uh, a good many years. Uh, not every single year since 2012, but for the most part. The candy canes are packaged in 20 count bundles, which probably don't exist anymore. So let's get right to it. The new 2020 version of the Viaje Holiday Blend Candy Cane. Okay, after the um, rather unpleasant time we had with the uh, Holiday Blend per se uh, earlier this month, uh, I'm optimistic this will be better. I've had several. And uh, I can tell you now that they were better than the the holiday blend uh, by itself. Okay. After removing very little from the cap, that's what we have left. Um, now I'm going to remove this little uh, band at the foot. Edition Limitada. So now that's what we have. First flavors are sort of a hint of citrus, hints of orange peel, brown sugar, roasted nuts. I've yet to determine exactly what type. Nutmeg, light cream notes, low levels of black coffee, 
hints of leather. I say hints because nothing is out there. It's in that direction. Black pepper at about seven ish. So it, there's there's a lot going on. And uh, to be honest with you, to get to this point, to describe those flavors, it took me that long, which in terms of time is about seven minutes. Uh, it starts out and it's just sort of wandering. And then you start being able to pinpoint them. And that's where we are right now. That's where, that's where I'm pinpointing. So, um, I mean, it's not a bad start. It's, it's just... A lot of times cigars will come out of the gate, wham, one direction. You know, we're going leather, we're going chocolate, we're going citrus, full blown. Uh, you know, but this one is sort of hints at hints of them, not anything uh, sticking out right now, standing out. But that could change. Let's just see. I mean, something will come out. So let's see what we have by the first third. Right in the first third, ash still intact. Doesn't that look nice? What a burn line. That's nice. Now the flavors have come out, pronounced themselves, settled down some. It is now a, a citrus with some cedar influence, brown sugar, cream, nutmeg, light leather, now they're out there. Now they're they're saying what they are. And there is a little bit of an earthy black coffee base. Uh, medium body, just not powerful at all. The finish has a little influence of cream, nutmeg, brown sugar. And nice lingering black pepper. But this is uh, not a bad cigar at all. I'm going to hold this up like this because I'm afraid it's going to fall. But I think that's just an excellent burn. It's straight. It's a tight ash. Now, I'm not saying it won't fall off any second, but uh, it's doing well right now. Uh, I'm going to set it down and probably it will fall. But the, this, is a, this is a nice cigar. The roasted nuts that I told you about at the beginning, I don't have right now. They could come back. But um, this is a much better cigar than the uh, uh, straight out holiday blend. And uh, the flavors are such that it's right there with me. I'll rate the first third 90. It's, it's, a, it's, not a, it's a good cigar. It's not bad at all. Um, not very powerful. Um, but that's where we are at the first third, which is a pretty good first third. Compared to the holiday blend, it's light years ahead. So well, let's just um, play it out. Um, I, I know my ash won't last much longer, but uh, let's see what we have at the end of the second third. End of the second third. And I removed the uh, little band that said uh, candy cane because we're getting a little close. But we've all of a sudden gotten very earthy. Now you have your you have some nice sweet notes that you initially get of like a cedar citrus, and brown sugar. But as soon as you think it's going to go along that path. Right behind it is a lot of earthy nutmeg with leather accents and the black coffee, but it's all very earthy. It's very, it's a scratchy earthiness. And it just takes away from that sweet. It just wipes them out. The finish is pretty much unchanged. I can tell you what it is. A little cream, nutmeg, and still a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of sweetness. 
it's, it's from brown sugar, but it's very little. Nice lingering black pepper. Medium body. So we're, we're sort of leaning toward medium full at this point. But that that severe amount of earthiness just really takes away from the uh, overall enjoyment. Second, like third, over at 86. So it's, uh, it, it's taking a big turn. Um, first third was was fine. Second third is not so good with that a massive amount of earthiness. So I'm curious to see which direction is the third, the final third going to go. down to the end so let's wrap it up well the good news is that massive amount of earthiness did go away i mean it's still some there but it's by and large nothing like it was you still have a nice cedar just a little citrus influence now a cedar brown sugar um nutmegs there cream is still there it's, it's sort of, you'll get it in whiffs. Very light leather. And a slightly earthy black coffee, but it's, it's medium to full. It's, it's much, imp it's improved from the second, third. It, had, it didn't get back anywhere where close to the first third. Finish is unchanged. So we're medium to full body, pretty decent. I'm raising the score to 87. It's not, it improved, but it didn't get crazy better. But it's much better than it was in the second third. At this point, now you got to remember how I score things. Anything from 85 up to 89 but lower than 90 is something I could smoke again, but I wouldn't buy. And this is, this is in that category because your overall score is 87.67. Yeah, I could smoke it again, but I wouldn't buy it again. So if you gave me one, I'd smoke it. So Light year is better than the uh, basic holiday blend. So that, that'll do it. The new Viaje Holiday Blend Candy Cane for 2020, 87.67.